damage control. Eric Paulson's seminar, drum roll. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Hello! Okay, so uh, this is a basic template that you're going to use with your legs. So you got, you've got, if you look here, you have an underhook. And your underhook, oh, put your knee down. And your underhook here, your hand's either high or it's going to be low. My leg can be figure forward, I can lock it down here. Okay, I can lock the leg down. I can put the shin in here. From right here, I can put a shin in, which is called a Z or a scissor side half guard. I can put a hook in here. This is a butterfly side half guard. I can sit up straight up to a sit up guard from right here. I can take another leg out and come into here, and now I have a hooked hook in butterfly side half guard, scissor side half guard, side half guard with a lockdown on the leg or both legs over or both legs here. So the position, this, this will allow you from here, from right here, to create space to kind of come in and sit up. And just switch positions. Nice and tight, deep, and come back like that. Uh, now, sometimes you actually have this position, which is a, uh, an overhook with a half guard, and the overhook here, which is a Z with an overhook. And usually you're gonna be working triangles, umaplatas and arm bars from here, from this position. If you have an underhook here and you have a scissor side, depending upon his arm, is he whizzing you? Is he not? Is he laying on you? Is he underhooking your head? Don't, you don't, what you don't want is him under your head. So now he puts you flat. And if you're in a flat half guard, again, it's a play of, it's a play of balance. So, where is he strong, where is he weak? If I kill this, he's weak over here, so I could roll through. If I push hard and he bases, now I can actually come back and get to your standard guard. Your flat half guard, sometimes you could pin and trap and bridge and come up on top. Okay, once in a while you might be able to get under this leg and start to push and get up under a leg. Okay. Depends on where you're at from here, like an overhook. Your overhook sometimes will allow you to start to come up also, which will allow you to start to pull his leg out and come back to your knees, okay? And then come back underneath to go do a deep half guard. Sometimes when you're in the guard, half guard position like this, you'll actually get an underhook deep and you'll pull him and you'll push him and he'll base. He'll start to base here. So you might work, start to work, come up, or to duck under, come up to the back. Okay. In a butterfly position from here, sometimes you'll go under here and you'll actually start to sweep. And then you'll start to work your X guard. You might base, post, push, straighten, like here. Or you'll bring this back, and you'll grab his ankle, he'll post, and then you'll drive it, and you'll come back up and work your pass. So that's kind of how you play with the position. Uh, it's, a lot, it's like a log rolling contest. And uh, more than anything, a lot of guys end up here instead of here, which is completely fine, because you could start to work your hook, and you could start to work your sweep from here. Okay. You can also work from here for your umaplata, which is a roll. He's got a roll, 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 an arm bar. And the same thing from here. You can work to get in, to work, to get, sorry, to get your triangle. Roll, roll, roll. So it's pretty diverse. It's based on off balancing <laughs> and uh, working and sweeping. That's about three years of material. Yeah, playing. no kidding. But that's right. how you play Thank with you. your legs, just like that. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for Thank the you. awesome seminar today. That was a blast. Thank you.